Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 60, Nasdaq's up 117, S&P's up 17. Gold, gold contract down $25.50, trading at 1978 an ounce. We have silver down 22 cents, $23.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down a buck, $71.79 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down 20 ticks, trading 113.30. The 30-year off 27 at 127.30 in King Dollar. King Dollar's on the move topside, up 697 ticks, 103.578. The Euro's at 107. The Yen is trading at 138. And the British Pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877 nine two seven six six four eight give us a call folks want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the s and p's let's take a look at them what do you have we go over to the spy first we get, have had some nice volatility out here today no doubt we take a look at the spy right now the spy's up a buck eighty you're going after the swing high now the swing high that we're, we're dealing with out here is the swing high that was back in january that's 418.31. Now, we hit 418.06 today. So the bottom line is that it's getting close to tagging. It hasn't tagged it yet. You know, I wish that it actually did tag it today. I mean, we got close to it. We didn't tag it. Because what you have here is that you, you're doing volume of 60 million versus that 101. So a test is a test, but a test, folks, is when it actually tags it. And it hasn't tagged it yet. So close, but hasn't done it yet. Now, the other swing that we're talking about, which it took out, was the 417.62. And right now we're at 417.13. What the difference is, is this, is that this wouldn't be a failure even if it closed underneath it because of the fact that we we're already at 62 million shares versus that last high, or at 60 million shares versus that last high of 62 million. That's how that works when you're looking at price and volume and inside of the context, um, that's how it works. That's the bottom line. So we need a few more pennies up there. We go into the NDX 100, you get a whole different animal happening inside the NDX. There's no doubt about this, man. So inside the NDX, what do we have happening? You get a higher high. Now the, the swing point we're dealing with in the NDX, and this is going to be on the weekly now. And, you know, we just went from 304 and accused to 335 in a heartbeat. And you can see what's happening here. The swing you're going after there is the 334.47. And right now, we are at 335.67. So you're a buck 20 over it. On the weekly basis, it can, it can make it. You know, it can make the volume, too. It's, uh, the volume they were talking about is 270, 2, 223 you need. And right now, we're already at uh, 170. So that can make it, you know. And if that's the case, then you're really going to see something uh, because the next swing point up there is 371. So it's pretty intense. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. Ten-year note right now is coming down to 1.5 million contracts. You know, you're coming into still larger contract volume, much larger actually. But let's see what kind of retracement we've already done thus far. So you're coming into the 0.618. I suspect you're going to get it because if you look at this, watch this. You're going to see that's where all the volume is, too. All the volume is right here on that bar. That bar there is coming. Well, look at this. You're talking about the bottom of that bar. Is, we're at 113. The bottom of the bar of strength is two of them, actually. But the first one that's coming into right now is 112.23. That's a monster bar. The bar before it is also a monster bar. So, you know, we'll see how that baby shakes out. We get over to the gold contract. Gold contract's going south as the dollar's going north. And you take a look at the gold contract. We have with the gold contract. You're down with, uh, 
Interesting. Okay, so GC, one second. Yeah, we're rolling. I see what's happening here, too. Okay. We're rolling. This, is, this has a lot lower to go. That's the real bottom line. Okay, so we're at 1977 on this contract. We already broke the consolidation on the contract. That sets up, you know, the next leg here. Well, we already hit 19, 1962, 1930, 1930s game. If you go to the XAU, the HUI, we were talking about this this week, the bottom line. It's making its way down to the last time we had any volume. It's pretty amazing, actually, that it's made its way down there in four days. You know, bottom line on Monday, we sold in the gold report. And I sold specifically because of this. So, in the XAU, we're talking about that number, 125. And that seemed like a big number on Monday. <laughs> and it was a big number, but it came down there fast and furious. On the gold, on the gold bugs index, did the same type of setup, you know, and it's going to be interesting to see how it hits this inside of the XAU and the HUI, because if that baby comes back with too much volume into it, you know, that's going to be a little, that's going to be not only a little problem, it's going to be a larger problem. And you can see the gold bugs index, we're down at 249, the number we're talking about is 244. And in four days, we just went from 271, so... GDX is going to be the same type of setup. This is how, this is how tr gold trades, too, folks. That's the bottom line. It's just how it trades, man. The GDX has an expansion of volume out here today. The number on the GDX is the 3103. And we just went from that Monday morning from 34 to 3170. We'll see how it handles us down, down there. So some of the higher volume equities out here, we take a look at you have... Uh, Tesla's up uh, a buck and a half. You get Advanced Micro up three bucks. NVIDIA, look at NVIDIA. Oh, my God. <laughs> NVIDIA's up 15 bucks. And you still only have a 1.5% uh, shot position in it. But bottom line is that they, when they move NVIDIA, they move NVIDIA in a monster way. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Tim Wood, coming back as he does uh, each and every Thursday to uh, recap the uh, indices out here. We have the Dow Industrials. Down 28, NASDAQ is up 130, S&P's up 21. We're going to come right back with Tim.